Again, ladies and gentlemen, the Gary Chase! Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> Fellas, if you could, could you please properly introduce yourself, uh, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote anything you'd like. Let me guess, Australia. Cool, yeah, we're from Australia. I'm, um, I'm actually from New South Wales, Australia. Rory's currently living up in Darwin, um, but our band's based in South Australia, so we're all over the place at the moment. Um, but yeah. Glad to be here today. Glad you guys are here, man. Uh, what's all your social media links so people know how to follow you guys, uh, where to go and everything? Yeah, uh, we're on Instagram under the Daily Chase Band. Uh, that's our Instagram handle. And you can find us at the Daily Chase on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Spotify, literally every streaming platform everywhere. So the Daily Chase, check it out. Fairly easy. When I first heard Lotus Land, I mean, it just slaps you right in the f lip, like right out of the gate. It is a banger for sure. Uh, what is what is Lotus Land? Like, what is the like the concept of video is really crazy, and I love the actor with the with the this thingy. I forget what those are called back in the eighties, but uh, he's a good actor for the video. But what is the song like actually about? Uh, the 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 basis of the song it's it's a story of narcissism. Um, it's basically in the eyes of a narcissistic character that's getting caught up in a in a fake world basically it's a it's a take on the metaverse and and um you know basically the sales guy in the video is selling a, a product to a, a new world a better world and that that is the metaverse and a, and a digital world away from real life um and there's a few characters in the video but they're getting caught up in this and, and buying the product and it takes you on a bit of a journey but basically it's a no, who was the who was the video director for it? Um, Rory, Rory, if you could, yeah. when when we're when you're not speaking, is there any way you can mute your mic? There's a lot of like wind noise in the background. My bad, I hate to ask, oh, but okay. it you like fucking mother nature <laughs> over there, mate. <laughs> um, I'll but yeah, inside, it's probably better. Okay, yeah, perfect. Inside. Who do you, who'd you guys go to for, for your audio production? Because your audio production on, on, on Lotus Land and the other track is just like completely top notch. Um, the, the audio, did you say, sorry? I was just curious, who who did your, who's your engineer for, for your tracks? Who do you guys go to to record? Oh, music. Chris Lalek, um from the band oh. Wind Waker. He's based out of Melbourne. Oh. And yeah, he's an absolute beast. And we, we've worked with him a bit in the past and our whole new EP we produced with him. And it's really fucking cool. <laughs> Hell yeah, he is a beast, and don't get me started about Wind Waker. They are my, literally my number one I must have on this show. Every single individual yeah. member has said yes. Fearless Records has said yes, and then no one gets back to me about setting it up. It's an ongoing joke, and it's annoying. But anyway, Lotus Land <laughs> from the Daily Chase. Hold on to your underwear, ladies and gentlemen, because it's going to get messy when you hear this track. What if I'm not are wearing you tired of the real world? Then you, you got an advantage. Life, not going... Rory, who who did you practice your vocals to when you were younger? Like you're just jamming in your car and uh, you put a CD on and you just scream at the top of your lungs in the car. Who who are you practicing practicing to? Um, yeah, so I listen to like bands like I Killed the Prom Queen, Parkway Drive, The Ghost okay. Inside, around high school time, stuff like that. So stuff, yeah, just bands like them I was getting into, and then it was I progressed further to like Whitechapel, The Red Shore, all that kind of stuff, and just I just wanted to be the heaviest vocalist, basically. Which good I heard those Swift song. That's what I want to do. That's a good, good right there. That's good stuff to practice too, for sure. Um, what yeah. was it? What was it like working with Chris? I've actually not had a chance to ask anybody that that has worked with him. But uh, what was it like working with Chris Lilac? Um, it's just a big, uh, it's just a big bro out, just a big hangout session. Like we're we're staying up late, um, working on songs and like. Our last recording session was done in South Australia and Chris actually came over. It was in the middle of the pandemic and COVID and we we're popping borders and trying to make it work. Um, but we just, we, we hired out a house for a week and just all got together in this house and set up a makeshift studio, a vocal booth in the corner of a bedroom next to some bunk beds. And um, Rory was behind this closed door, just belting out vocals. And then he'd come out and be like, how's that? <laughs> so you like Airbnb a studio essentially? Yeah. That yeah, is awesome. That is awesome. 
Hell yeah. Lloyd, uh, what question do you have for the lads before I play Killjoy? If you guys look outside your window, can you see any kangaroos? <laughs> Not at the, <laughs> Not at the moment, so it is possible just to look out and see a kangaroo hopping by? Uh, I'm in crocodile country at the moment, so can they probably get crocodiles? eaten. crocodiles? Where are they? Sometimes. <laughs> No, how did you guys all meet? Because you seem to be in very vast, like, different areas and stuff. How did everyone come to be? Uh, we're all from South Australia. We all grew up in a, a town called Port Piri. Um, it's close to Adelaide. And, um, yeah, we all get back there to obviously write and practice and play shows. But we do a lot of touring around the country as well. So we all just meet up for shows and jump in a van when we need to and do most of our writing online. We'll send Rory tracks and he can figure out some vocals from wherever he is. <laughs> Oh yeah. Good process. Were you guys in previous projects before the Daily Chase? Just in and out of other bands and stuff? Or is this is this like your Where first find- main time, main full time project? Tell us tell them about how we found you, Rosa. Yeah, so I was playing like, I started a couple of high school bands and then just jamming through fan- friends ended up in a small band in Port Piri and um Yeah, it was just me and Pato, so our other guitarist. We just got drunk in the pub one night and we're chatting. We both knew each other a few music, so yeah, Pato just asked me to come out for a jam, and yeah, this is essentially my first decent band, I guess you could say. <laughs> there was sure. a YouTube video going around that boys watched, and yeah, sort of got noticed by that. Cool. Yeah, we found him on, on a YouTube video and had to get him in our band. That's the story. <laughs> I said, dude, we need you, bro. We need you. What is uh, what's Killjoy yeah. about? It's completely opposite vibe as far as as far as Lotus Land. Not nearly as heavy, but still just as wicked. Yeah, Killjoy is um, basically a story about you know how everyone can have an evil side, and you know for people that don't really have a purpose in life, that can take over sometimes, can get the better of them. Um, and you know, as I say, uh, idle hands make work for you know. Level? Yeah, <laughs> so it's basically a story of that. And it's chat's telling me that you have a track coming out on Friday. What can you tell us about the track on Friday? Oh, that's probably my favorite track on the EP. We're pretty excited to get that one out to the world. Um, it's one of the first ones we wrote, and it's, it's kind of a, I've described it as a drum and bass dance anthem with the grit and teeth of a metalcore track, so... Oh, that sounds lovely. Is the first song you did, but you're releasing it after others? Yeah, it's, we just kind of wanted to hold off, and and um, I hadn't finished filming the video for it as well, so we've, I'm literally doing the final exports tonight, and it'll be going up on our YouTube premiere on Friday. Oh, Let us know when it's me. ready. We'll definitely check it out for sure. This is Killjoy. Before it gets nasty. <laughs> Before what? What would you say? Oh, I said Rory gets pretty nasty on it, so. Excellent. 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 You guys, are you guys gamers at all? Do you play play any video games? Uh, I used to play a lot of motocross games growing up, but not so much these days. How about you, Rory? Uh, I dabble here and there, but I'm not very good and have the attention span of a small child, so <laughs> <laughs> I stick to them too long. <laughs> For sure. Um, are you guys down to review some some local artists with us and or do some trivia? Oh, sure. For the yeah, tr- course, for the trivia. What if they say no. What if a band ever says no to that, dude? No one yet has, but then I would have to think of something really quick on the spot, no, on the fly. Now we just wanted to answer questions, now we're fucking out of here, man. <laughs> uh, regarding the trivia, though, I need a little bit of knowledge from you to, to base the trivia off of something. If you guys were uh, on tour going all over Australia, but you can only pick one show or movie franchise, what is your strongest knowledge? South Park, Star Wars, uh, Harry Potter, anything. What would you say is your strongest knowledge? Fuck you, Cap! <laughs> what do you reckon, Rory? I don't even know, man. Nothing really springs to mind. <laughs> I'm a Star Wars fan, but I'm, yeah, let's I don't go. know. Do you want me to give you a second to think about it? <laughs> no, Star Wars, let's go. Star Wars, okay. Yeah. Well, safety net, that's kind of cool. Let's say yay to that yeah, one. That was that, um, pop punk was awesome. Really cool. Awesome video as well, real dreamy. What's up? Uh, what's real dreamy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up? Some some music that you guys jam in your personal time that we would not expect you to listen to. Oh, um, I grew up listening to punk rock, so I'm a huge fan of No Effects and Pennywise, Bad Religion. So, 
Um, I'm always chucking some strong out. Oh, just any sort of OG Cali punk rock. How about you, Rory? Yeah, I do the same. I grew up listening to a lot of rock music, so I get around like Van Halen, ACDC as well, bands like that, Sabbath, Iron Maiden. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, Rory does a really good um, Hell's Bells cover, actually, by ACDC. Um, I'll, I'll have to send you guys the recording because it's pretty yes. fucking good. Yes, please do. <laughs> Is it all? Is it all like screaming? Is it a screaming cover? Before you listen, though. Is it a screaming cover? Sorry? Is it a screaming cover, Rory? No. Uh, <laughs> no. <nah>. Hail's bell. <laughs> it's me trying to do my best ACDC impression. <laughs> this is all Chris Lalick's fault to start with. Damn you, Chris! Yeah. <laughs> I'll ask him about it when we get him on here eventually. This could be <laughs> the most important question I've asked you this whole interview. <laughs> Who? In Empire Strikes Back, is Luke's gunner on Hoth? Who is Luke's gunner on Hoth? R2-D2? Uh, he's like always his gunner. That, that doesn't count. This is our actual pilot. Oh. Oh, my God. It's one of the... I don't know the name, but I can remember the scene. I, I'm, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a go. hint. I'll give you a hint. It starts with a D. He's not. I don't know. <laughs> I think that is a stump. We're gonna see if Chat can get it. Uh, I think we should probably play the Fear. It looks like the track that has the most uh, the most plays on your guys' Spotify. What is the Fear about? Oh, Rory, you got that one. That Rory wrote that one. So that's that's all on Rory. I can't even remember. I've been so caught up in the last evening. <laughs> <laughs> it's all this long. is the question I'm prepared for. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, Roy would usually write the lyrics in the song and then I'd try and pull a video together and make sense of what I thought was, the song was about. Like, we sort of collaborate on song meanings all the time, but um, to me, the song felt more like uh, the fear of not making it in life, you know? Not, not, not actually being able to get to where you want to be and feeling stuck and trapped and not actually, like, accomplishing your dreams as such. Is that what you sort of... Yeah, more or less. It was just... Yeah, branch out. I'm following your dreams and just trying to get there. But feeling like you're stuck and can't. I can dig it. Yeah. I can dig it. Uh, we're going to play The Fear here in just a second. The answer we were looking for was Dak. Nobody got it. Oh, Dak was the answer. Me. Had you won, we would have spun this wheel. Let's spin it anyway and see what it lands on. This is The Fear. We're hanging out with Daily Chase. This video is ridiculous, by the way. Excellent. <laughs> was it at one time your, that your guy's actual touring van? Um, so the backstory on this is um, uh, the song called Void that we released before this had the Grim Reaper in it. And he was actually, it was more of a serious video. And in this video, he's driving our tour van. Um, that's the guy in the front seat covered in black paint. And we actually bust into a... Um, coming out, we bust into like our old key, uh, stomping grounds where we sort of grew up playing shows. It's in a little skate park and all the locals kind of jump in and it's just like a kind of underground sort of moshy sort of show. <laughs> so if you skip to like the end of the end of the song, you'll kind of see that part. But it's a pretty long video. Y'all look like babies in this. Was this an older one compared to yeah. others? Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys are babies. That looks like a cool little spot to throw a show. A little like yeah. un underground skate place or something. That looks pretty tight. Hell yeah. Yeah, it was a fun, fun little video, that one. I actually rolled my car driving back to South Australia the day before we shot this. I like, rolled it like four or five times and survived. <laughs> and then we Dang. shot this video the next day. I'm it's glad you're here with us, man. That's 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 scary right there. Let's see. Yeah, How did you guys get started in your respected uh, instruments and craft? Like, when did you guys realize that you were starting to stand out from uh, the other locals? Um... I didn't, um, we didn't have a drummer, so I, I learned drums when we started the band. So I sort of progressed the whole way through into now, um, from not being a drummer to being a drummer. And that's sort of my story. <laughs> we needed one, so. Uh, I was pretty much the exact same, but in a high school band. All these dudes are just jamming heavy songs and they're like, we need a singer. So I thought, yeah, okay, I'll do it. And that was pretty much me just teaching myself from YouTube and having a crack at it, essentially. 
How long did yeah. it take you to like just as a vocalist? Like I don't play a lot of other instruments, but when did you realize you had like your tone? How long did it take you to find like your good range for vocals? Um, I, I was doing it for a very long time and like just trying to learn different techniques. And I found straight away I was getting real sore and tired, so I was like, I need to get away from that. And then I don't know, it just sort of clicked one day, I guess, where I was just doing it every day, annoying my parents in the house, and um, <laughs> probably. The band before I joined the Daily Chase was when I sort of started getting a bit more comfortable as a vocalist. But um, yeah, took about ten years. Well, sorry, I've been doing it for about ten years now. I think so. It was definitely not an easy task to learn. Well, you both have mastered your craft by at this point. But have you uh, mastered Star Wars yeah. trivia? We're gonna try it one more time. This is the Redemption trivia question. A hell of a lot easier. How many people? Does Darth Vader kill in The Empire Strikes Back? Well, be fun. Three. Three is not correct. Four. <laughs> Lloyd, you can't guess a million times, bro. Just once. No, I, his was four and I was mine was three. Uh, four and three are both not correct. Fuck! <laughs> You're really close, though. Far out. Yeah. Um, Is it one? <laughs> All incorrect. <laughs> Darth Vader kills two people: Admiral Ozel and Captain and Captain Nita. That's what it says. He said two. Ben said two. Oh, I thought you said four, three, and something else. So then that's correct. Then. Sorry, was four. I was three. Ben said two. All right. Well, then I'm give me. Well, yeah. <laughs> then give me a hell yeah, because you got it correct. I apologize. <laughs> Let's see what the wheel lands on for you while we play some disgust. Gust with broken. Let's see what it landed on. Bean me up, Scotty, which is a new thing that we have. So, fellas, right in my possession right here is the Fiery Five Challenge. Each bean progressively gets harder. Sriracha, Jalapeno, Cayenne, Habanero, and Carolina Reaper. Which jelly bean would you like me to try? while I continue this interview with my mouth on fire. Um, what's the what's the hottest one? Nah. <laughs> Carolina Reaper and it sucks. It's very hot. All right, all right. Maybe like one back from that. Don't go the hottest, but like pretty hot, you know? So one down from that? I'll do the hottest. Habanero. Yeah, just cause I don't, I don't wanna wreck you, man. <laughs> I'll do two. Well, I had to do five, all five at once the other day. That sucks. But uh, here's two. Habaneros. Right. Let's jam out You've to um, before, man. <laughs> Let's jam out to um, Freedom Fiction. Yeah, that song's cool. That was our first with uh, Chris Lally. What were you saying? It's already hot. That was, our first, that was our first single with Chris Lally. Does there a video for that one too? Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Let's play the video instead. It's yeah, already we, hot. We traveled to Melbourne and um, jumped in a jumped in his little studio with him, and we came out with this single over a weekend. Which it was shot isolation style before isolation was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there is there a release date for for the EP? Uh, the eighth of April, so a week after the next single comes out. Not far at all. Hell yeah, fellas. What's the plan after the EP comes out? Is there is there some touring lined up? Um, is there another music video ready to go after after the one that comes out on Friday? What do you guys got planned the rest of 2022? Uh, working working on a tour. We wanna we wanna get this music across Australia. So um, nothing we can announce yet, but we ha we have a few shows coming up. We've got a few in Adelaide. We've got an international support act in Adelaide for next year. Um, bunch of stuff in the works, um, but nothing we can really announce besides the show we've got. When's that Adelaide show, uh, Rory? The uh, we're playing a festival. Uh, a fest I think it's June long June. weekend. I can't remember the date, but it's June here. So June long yeah, weekend. Yeah, just got some Adelaide locals there, and that'll be our first time back on stage since the end of 2019. So excellent. Yeah, Absolutely and that's hanging. With Heartline, Amicia, Relapse, bunch of really cool bands. Um, and yeah, we actually do have something else in the works in terms of music videos to release after this, but um, 
Yeah, you'll we'll have to wait and find out about that because we can't say too what? much. We don't want to wait. Bro. Uh. Now. <laughs> we actually shot we shot a whole bunch of music video stuff in like one day back in South Australia. We like hustled. It was like a full day until 3 a.m. Um, just, just went through and just smashed all of it. And then I've been shooting the narrative stuff back in New South Wales. Do you anticipate um, so, there being yeah, a music well, video for, for every track on the EP? I could, but we haven't. Um, just just three main ones and maybe a follow-up fourth one. Gotcha. Um, <clears throat> my mouth is still on fire, by the way. Uh, let's see. I think yeah, we got time. I think we got time for... some milk. <laughs> I, dude, I can't drink milk straight like that. I, I only like milk and cereal. I just can't drink Water like a glass of milk. The, yeah. the pepper's around. You need milk to salute the fire, bro. I'll just, I'd rather just suffer. But, uh, Isn't fellas, this, <laughs> this is a lot of fun, no, man. It really does help with that. It does, it does. Uh, I think Buster's done a thing on it or something, and they drank water and milk. And, yeah, uh, water doesn't help. Water spreads it. Milk will, like, subdue it. I do want to, I want to end on a, on an important question. I like to ask everybody this, what we have on the show. What is, what is a piece of advice that you were given in your musical career that changed and either made you more take music more seriously as far as being in a band and, or instead of that, and, or what is a piece of advice you would give a band that's in their garage right now that is trying to get to the level that you're at? Um, uh, be Oh, you go, Rory. Oh, I was going to say, like, it's so simple, but literally I've had people tell me, just don't give up. That's pretty much it. Like, that was all I took from that is just keep at it. Don't give up and uh, keep trying. Like, it's Was there a time that you wanted on. that you wanted to give up? To Rory, was there a time that you wanted to give up and this person was like, dude, don't do it. You're almost there. Just keep hustling. Like, was there a time when you just were like, uh, I've had it? I don't know if I... Felt like I needed to give up as such, but there's definitely been frustrating times where, you know, a show hasn't gone right or you feel like you can't write properly for the boys. And But no, I think that was just the most simple thing that stuck with me was just not to give up on it. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Then, same question for yourself, sir. Um, I would say stay like... With with music and influence, it's it's cool to be influenced and take influence from your favorite bands, but just just try and not focus on what everyone else is doing and enjoy what you're doing in your art and try and have fun and appreciate what you're doing and I guess just don't get caught up in what, everything that's going around you. Just just focus, Beach. play the music you want to play and the music you love and just enjoy the ride because it's such an amazing thing and we're all so lucky to have music in our lives. Oh yeah, we actually had a uh, Richard of Secrets on yesterday, and he said something similar. He said, like, when you actually do play the shows and do do the tour, like, soak it in. Don't just get hammered and play the show, and then you know, take in the sights, enjoy the bands you're on the tour with, yeah. enjoy the fans you get to engage with at the shows, because you might not be able to do yeah. it again. Something could happen. You never know. Something so. goes really fast, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it could be the last time you're doing anything in life. You just got to appreciate everything you're doing, and especially if you're on the road with yeah. the boys, van, touring, you know, make the most of it and enjoy every moment of it. Rory, yeah, Ben, definitely. I appreciate you guys so much. Research, I appreciate you guys so much spending some time out of your day to hang out with this man, drop some knowledge. New track comes out on Friday. Is it Friday in Australia? So I think that'd be Thursday in the States. April 8th, Ooh, you said, yeah. is the, the EP release date. Yeah, yeah, so our song Watch You Up comes out this Friday in Australia. Uh, it'll be Thursday for you guys. And then, yeah, April 8th for the EP and April 7th for you guys. Because you guys are all in the future. You're, you know, you're in the future somehow. <laughs> oh, they're in the future, man. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Did I, did I say that the wrong way? I don't know. I'm getting confused now. Uh, you got it right. I'm pretty sure, man. I think you got it right. <laughs> Sounds right. Fellas, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe on the road. Congratulations on the, the National uh, Supporting Act. Congratulations on the EP coming out. And if you see Chris, tell that mother to hit me up, please. Because I need to talk to him. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get on the blower to him right now. Right now. Hell yeah, thank you. <laughs> You'll get on the what? What did you call that? A blower? Uh, yeah, on the blower. On the blower, I like that. I've never heard that term. I'm ready to use I've, I've never heard either. that I term. Like that. I work at a cell phone store. I'm going to start calling them blowers. <laughs> <laughs> ben, Roy, we appreciate yeah. you guys. Hell Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, the Daily Chase. Yeah, hell yeah.
Thank you guys so much, man. Cheers. Enjoy the rest of your day.